The last time Norman Lubert missed the Jefferson City and Helias wrestling match, Gerald Ford was in the White House. I am proud of America. Paul McCartney and the Wings topped the charts with silly love songs. And the first Rocky won the Academy Award for Best Picture. It was 1976 when Lou Burt and his wife Nancy started attending Jefferson City wrestling matches. Come on, Isaac, take him down, show him how. And he's got a pretty good attendance record. Yeah. It's it got to be something dreadful bad to make me miss. So in these 30-some years, maybe six or eight. But he never misses the big rivalry match. Always do the Helias. The Luberts were there through all the years of Helias' dominance on the wrestling mat, but also when the Jays started winning. 1985, we hadn't beat them in years and years and years, and we beat them. They were also there when Jefferson City assistant coach David Ganey was a wrestling star and coach at Helias before becoming a Jay, and they were there when their son became an assistant coach at Jefferson City. It, it just gets in your blood and you get addicted to it and, and watching these kids wrestling. Come on! And they were there last night when Jefferson City won its third straight duel against the Crosstown Rivals, 56 to 12. The Luberts have been there, perched in the upper deck of Fleming Fieldhouse. That way the refs can't throw them out, they say. Oh, but Lubert will even root for Helias. Well, sometimes. I hope Elias wins all their matches but this one. <laughs> Matt Evans, KOMU 8 Sports, Jefferson City.